Stan Jabalisco here. I would like to explain just briefly what is meant by magnetic flux. Have you ever heard the term magnetic lines of flux or lines of force? Well, that um, business is explained pretty nicely in my book, Making Everyday Electronics Work, published by McGraw-Hill. This is the actually a a cover image of that book from the Amazon website for that book and I will provide a link to the Amazon website for that book in the description of this video. In chapter 1 the book gets into a discussion of magnetic lines of flux. What are they? Well basically they are imaginary regions or zones or quantifications of a magnetic field sort of like rays of light rays of light are not actual lines in space they say that light travels in a straight line unless it's refracted or reflected well magnetic fields also have lines of flux they actually flow as well they tend to flow in the physicist's sense from a magnetic north pole to a magnetic south pole. This is an example with a simple bar magnet. The north pole of the bar magnet is attracted to the Earth's south magnetic pole and the south pole of a bar magnet is attracted to the Earth's north magnetic pole. So in fact the Earth is like a huge bar magnet with the North Pole at the South Magnetic Pole and a South Pole at the North Magnetic Pole. Go figure. You'll, you'll read all about that, though, in the book. Uh, everyday electronics and how to make it work and how to keep it from not working. Here's another example. This is figure 1-10. Back here we have figure 1-9. Figure 1-10. If you have a current flowing in a wire, say that that current is flowing from the bottom of the page to the top. Now that is known as conventional current, meaning that it flows from plus to minus or moves from plus to minus. The electrons move in the other direction from minus to plus. The lines of flux would tend to flow counterclockwise in this illustration if you were up here looking down at it. The conventional current flowing at you, the electrons flowing away from you, these magnetic lines of flux, or circles of flux, actually, would tend to move counterclockwise. And in fact, they're really cylinders of flux because they run all along the whole length of the wire. So that is just a basic idea of what lines of flux are just sort of Fig Newtons of the imaginations of some very, very interesting people called physicists. Stan Jibalisco, back to outer space, where arguably I belong. Until next time, so long.